All right, guys, what is up? And welcome back to a new video. I the car is back. I have it. I'm back in Illinois, obviously, um, because I'm actually going to trailer it home once I'm done dialing it in some more with the guys over at Rada and Hank. But what we have to do is this. I ordered this carbon hood a very, very long time ago, and it came, and then it sat because the car was at Rada getting work. So now, today, we are finally gonna get to put the carbon hood on. Um, I desperately need it. This car has seen its fair share of rock chips and uh, being keyed. So it's finally time for a new hood. It's really gonna change the look of this car. So let's get to it. It shut off for some reason. My phone did, but here we go. still are working on the idle tunes and basically all the tunes uh it's i'm spending a lot of time getting um basically the maps reworked and basically finalized and sort of made finer because you know it's a perfect car until the tunes aren't good so we got to make sure those are good this thing right here and then we will see what we need to get this hood off so we got the car moved over now let's see what we need to get this hood off. Go down here. Just wanted to say real quick, there will be a whole walk around on this car after this video is put out. So I'm gonna post this video of me installing this carbon hood. And then after this video, there's gonna be a full walkthrough of this car. Basically everything that's been done to it, all that good stuff. Let's see what we need. I've got my, uh, set of tools so we're gonna need stuff to get this hardware off that hardware off and then basically everything up here and funny enough my strut has a uh, completely given out so it's gonna make getting this off very funny figured out a solution now let's uh find what socket we're gonna need to get everything off what we're gonna be using we're gonna be using the 9 16th to get off the corner brackets and then we'll be using the 7 16th to get off this, 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 and uh, that's basically it. So yeah, it's definitely not a 7 16th to get uh, these off, but uh, mine aren't deep enough and I'm just making it work. So yeah, whatever. I'm pretty sure it's this, if anyone actually wants the correct size, but mine are not deep enough because of the little weird nipples that the Audi put on the end of these. So yeah, now let's get the rest of them off. Definitely gonna have to recruit my brother to come down and uh, help me because it's like already sliding because I've taken one off of each side. But basically that's it. Got all the hardware done off of here. I'm gonna have to pull out these and put them onto the other hood. But basically we're all done. We're just gonna need to put this the one down, transfer everything over, and then uh, yeah, we'll basically be done. Guys, so we've almost got everything off of it. We've got like, there were little push like bumps right here that were right there that you just had to unscrew. The hard part about this job is that you need to detach the sprayers to your hood. So they're actually in your hood and there is one right here that's right there that's pushed up. But the other one, as you can see, is disconnected. And basically all you got to do is disconnect a fitting that's right here and a connector that's right here. And then you disconnect both of them and you'll be able to pull it all the way through and then redo it in this hood. The one thing that sucks that I just realized is that I'm gonna have to go get a Dremel and Dremel this thing out uh, to feed it through. So that's gonna suck, but yeah, we almost got the OEM hood off. So as you can see, we got the sprayers all the way through the hood. Now we just gotta take off the hood. I do not recommend doing this by yourself. Um, this is probably gonna go really, really bad. But, uh, at least it's on the camera. So. Holy shit. Oh. oh, finally this piece of shit is gone. Man, that looks cool. 
no hood on the RS3. Oh, that's sort of sick, actually. Oh, yeah. This dirty-ass truck. Give me get the freaking... Inspiring. Let's get it. We have made our way to the local Home Depot. We are going to find a Dremel real quick and then uh, get home and do this because I was hoping to be able to go to Rata today and have uh, the guys over there pull some logs on the car because next Thursday we are going to the track. So there's going to be a video on that. We're going to try to get the car into a mid eight seconds uh, full weight. So that will be sick. Cool looking Ford Ranger. Jesus Christ. Baddest tire I've ever seen on a Ford Ranger. <laughs> Guys, we got our masking tape to tape off the holes and we got a Dremel. Uh, I think that's all we need, hopefully. So I uh, will we'll see you back at home. Got me my shake, my steak and shake. Midwest things, got my Dremel as we went over. Now it's time to Dremel out this hole. This is the hole that that line that I pulled through earlier will go through that was in the OEM hood. It's gonna go through right here, connect the two sprayers, and then, yeah, basically put all the same hardware in the same location. See, I've already got it them laid out so I know what needs to go where. And then uh, we'll throw it on. Order of business is going to be taping off like around this as well as we can, basically to prevent any cracking or anything. So I went and just picked up some multi-use scotch tape or masking tape, whatever. And we're going to just mask this off and then we're going to use this sharp point dremeled or whatever to start in the middle then sort of make our way out. We're gonna have to dremel out this one and that one over there to put uh, these in, which were like basically like hood stoppers, like cushioning, so when the hood clicks, right? Um, but yeah, so we've got three holes, I think, to dremel out basically. These other ones, you don't have to necessarily. They were just random like caps, I think, for drainage, but um, yeah, f that. this thing so i'm gonna have to wait till that's charged but this is what we've done so far i've gone all the way through already scuffed up the top so i sort of have an outline of where i need to stay inside of but uh yeah it's working pretty well so definitely gets the job done just need to charge it and then uh yeah we'll come back to finishing that up where i pro i'm uh not because you know squinting is just the best ever but yeah, definitely wear eye protection if you're ever working on carbon or stuff like this because you can get fragments in your lungs and eyes. Not good. All right, guys, and that is the finished product. I wanna say uh, pat on the back. That's a pretty uh, good circle. All right, guys, basically we got these taped up now basically to get these in there. You have to slide it in right off this like little edge and you basically twist it in there and they're basically like the little bump stops to help the hood. And you'll see what it looks like sort of on the OEM hood. You sort of gotta make a cut like this. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do over here. We're gonna start with the circle and then we're gonna make the little line out, but they're both taped up and ready to go. All right guys, we just finished dremeling these out. This one's okay. This one turned out a lot better looking. Um, those are the only three holes that you have to dremel out and now we can uh, throw it on the car. So my brother's out here and he's gonna help me put it on and we're gonna wipe it down the inside and then we're gonna go uh, for a car wash and get a little edit of the car. Yeah, yeah. Now the problem that we're facing is that this has to sit in here like so. Um, and basically because it has this little notch in here, we have to, um, Dremel down a little spot in there so that it can fit flush and we're almost done um, Pretty close. It's got a little bit more to go. So it fits good, but we got our bolts. I know it's blue, but they're All I could get right now. So who cares? But we're almost done Dremeling that out and then we'll be able to snap that in um, all the bolts that you need um, for these you can just get out of regular hardware store. So yeah, let's finish this up and then uh, hopefully actually be able to get this thing on. All right, guys, as you can see, the hood is on. My brother has been helping me 
do it whole, all night. Um, I will run through some of the stuff in the morning. So it's night. The hood's not going to look that cool. So I will see you in the morning. And me and him will get some cool photos of it. Boom. And we are back. It is the following day. Uh, it's, it's very uh, chilly out, but still very nice here in Illinois. But we do have the carbon hood on and it fits really well. Um, it's, yeah, here we go. Here's a little peek of it. I'll do a little montage of it later, but man, it does look good. We'll do a little in-depth look at it later. But we are on our way to Rada to get prepared for a track day. And that will be uh, the next video on the channel will be me at the track trying to send the car deeper into the eights. But now we got to fill up some one ethanol R into the car so we can go over to Rada to change out the wheels into the 15s. Uh, check over the brakes, fluids, all that good stuff before the track day to make sure we're all good. So I will see you guys at Rada.